Hello and good morning from the Chesomod campsite. So we've spent a night here, a very, very lovely place. Highly recommended. Uh, I'd give it a 8 out of 10 or even 9. Yeah, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. And the only reason because of that is uh, the road access, you need to have like a bigger car. Otherwise, you leave the car closer to the gate and then just walk, which is not a very long distance, but yeah, something to consider. Otherwise, it's a very nice place, very scenic. There's a pond, there's a boat which you can, you know, ride. You can fish from that pond. You can go to the, what's it called, the tea farms, have a walk at the tea farms. And most importantly, just sit next to the campfire and chill in your tent while soaking on those views behind. Yeah, uh, it's a very lovely place. I, I highly recommend it. But now for today, uh, we are going to our next location to shoot antelopes or rather shoot the Sitatunga antelope which is very rare and we are off uh, we are walking now back to where we parked the car but again such a beautiful beautiful place and the tea farms back there you know it's so amazing yeah such a lovely place we are going to do another like one kilometer walk and then uh, drive to Kitale all the way from here. That is going to take us maybe uh, five hours. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And we are done with Kericho. We are now leaving Kericho heading to Kitale. Either via Kakamega or uh, Kapsabet. Depends with what the traffic will look like. Ahero rice plantations. Yeah, we decided to use the Kisumo road instead of the Kapsabet road. Yeah, a lot of rice comes from this side. So you'd say Ahero and uh, Mwea, that's the two places where Kenya's rice comes from. We are heading to Kitale, In 400 but... 400 uh, meters at the roundabout, take the third exit and stay on Achieng on Echo Road. We're going to Kitale, but decided to do like a short drive in Kisumu town. Just because we're here. <laughs> so yeah, we're just doing like a loop uh, at the roundabout and then uh, continue with the journey. I'd say Kisumu is quite a clean uh, town. Yeah, this is the Kisumu CBD, Central Business District. Western people, what's your deal with making these uh, bums? <laughs> Western person, <laughs> why are you putting bums on the road? Yeah? Yeah, no <laughs> yeah, like there's so many such bums where people have just decided to construct their own bums on the road. And most of them are very, very huge. Like, you know, your car has to, you have to go like diagonally to cross it and even the car scratches. Yeah, what's happening here? 
But the place is very green. Is that sugar cane? What is that? Sugar cane. There's maize on the left side. Yeah, I think you'd easily say Western Kenya is probably is it the biggest or the second largest bread uh, basket in Kenya? Food basket that is. Yeah, but the environment is very very green. After getting lost for maybe 40 minutes, we've made it to Saiwa Swamp. So Saiwa Swamp is the smallest national park in Kenya. It is only like, uh, I think, 3.2 square kilometers. And uh, they don't allow cars inside. Basically, when you come here, you park your car and then you walk. So it's quite a good place for people who love nature, you know, bird watching. But for me, I want to try and capture the Sitatunga antelope, which is an aquatic antelope. And it's actually very rare to spot it. Or rather, the other time that I was here, I wasn't able to spot it after spending I don't know how many hours. So, it's almost 4 p.m. So we only have two hours to try capture it and then uh, that will be it. But yeah, the place looks so nice. This looks like it's going to be hard to spot. Look at that. The vegetation has grown a lot. And uh, what's happening? Has the swamp dried out? Yeah, how do you spot an antelope <laughs> in such an area? Yeah, this is crazy. There's supposed to be some observation deck somewhere. So I think it might be better to find one and go up and try to spot it using a binoculars. Spotting, uh, not even the antelope, but spotting any animal here is going to be a lot of work. So far the only thing I've seen are uh, monkeys. Ah. But it looks so nice and peaceful. So here is the observation deck. We'll go up and try to see if we can spot it from above. We've walked maybe one kilometer so far. And yeah, nothing, nothing yet. Let's try and see if we can spot anything from uh, this cool observation deck. Yeah, this is high enough. But now the problem is uh, I don't have a long lens. My lens is only 70, 75 millimeter. Therefore, if it's maybe on the other side, I can see it, but I can't like take a picture. <sighs> yeah, this is going to be tough. Yeah, we were not lucky with the platform number five, so we're going to try platform number four. Just walking around, trying our luck. If we get lucky, well and good. If not, there's always another time. And now we're at platform number four. Yeah, uh, we're going to again try our luck from here. There is more open grounds. So maybe we will be lucky. If not, too bad. Because it's getting late. We only have one hour before the park closes.
Yep. This is going to be very difficult. Let's uh, chill for a bit. Yeah, for today, I think I'm going to give up. It's uh, 5.08, which means only one hour left before they close. The Airbnb we are going to is only 35 minutes away, so at least that is good. But I'm thinking I have to redo this and just give it like uh, three days. I want that picture. I want that picture of uh, Sitatunga antelope. I think now I'm starting to get annoyed that I don't have it. Because I've been making a compilation of uh, different animals from Kenya. Basically, all the animals that you can find in Kenya. And I'm going to create it as a book. So that's why I need... I need these pictures. <laughs> so I think I'm going to dedicate three, four days. Come here, let's say like on a Monday when I know there isn't so many people. And then either camp or book the bandas that are here and then just come to a platform like this. See, I'm just seated in this platform. It's very good, very cool. And then uh, you can see almost the entire area. So while seated here with the long lens, I think the chances of getting that picture will be high. And yeah, when I'm bored, I can just like read a book or listen to music or do whatever while being on the lookout. Yeah, so for now, maybe another five minutes of sitting and then uh, we start walking around leaving. I think we have walked for five kilometers trying to find an antelope <laughs> and we haven't seen one even for a second. Then anyway, it's time for us to exit. Uh, yeah, we'll try this another time. Way better prepared. Well, after walking for hours without seeing any animal, finally I can see I've seen a monkey. <laughs> and that one is cutting a child. Ooh. See you, Sayuaswam, to be tried again in uh, a few months' time.